All right. The Isaac Casino is reopened. Did we throw yesterday's run in the Isaac Casino? Yes. <laughs> we, we, we could have put a little extra sauce on it for sure. <laughs> I apologize to the believers. I think it wasn't that I, I died intentionally, but with a lack of preparation and care, yeah, we, we played it a little lazy, I think, is the, is the best way to describe it. But for now, the casino is open. Let's get uh, this right here. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Regular Eve to Delirium. Delirium, this is a scam, because it might as well say Hush and Delirium. And you know what? You might think that that's like a bad roll. I don't really think so. Uh, I think that that's the beauty of the randomizer, is that you get forced into doing this stuff that's maybe a little bit more uncomfortable. So, this is Eve to Delirium. Please keep in mind as I set the bet here and give you one minute to make your predictions. Eve to Delirium likely means we have to do Hush, so keep that in mind as we get the run started here. One of these days I'm gonna die within the first uh, minute of a run, and then while the bets are still on, people are gonna be like, you know, placing bets on the thing that's guaranteed to pay out. Oh, by the way, sorry, I, I've besmirched the integrity of the bet. I had Eden's Blessing on my last run. Full disclosure, I had Eden's Blessing. So that's why we're starting with, with the Fruity Plum here. If this causes you to wish that you had placed your bets differently, I apologize. That, that should have been open information, okay? That should have been open information. By the way, I also checked this out. Ne it, hey, who says I never done anything for you? Look at this. Mr. Mega. Bomb damage times 1.8. Oh, we got to make hush, so we got to go a little faster. Bomb damage times 1.85. What did the 2 mean? Next to, uh, next to Mr. Mega. What did that 2 mean? Is that like what tier the item is? Item quality? They're, they're tracking that at a 2? Come on. That's absurd. 4 is the best. Okay, if, I thought 10 was the best. If 4 is the best, then that's not so bad. Oh, baby, this is a great start. Yeah, that's that's the external item descriptions uh, mod. If you're interested in checking it out for yourself. Those are unidentified pills. Should see what's going on in the shop here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Delightful. Not bad. They should have based it off my tier list. Yeah, I, I agree. As the as the eminent Isaac player, one of the best. I mean, I don't know if I'm the best Isaac player, but I may be the only person to have a 75% success rate at erasing tainted Esau without Spider Mod. You ever consider that? I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm going to be the greatest streaker of all time, but I think my instincts are, are at the top level. No, I, di I didn't get Pog Mod yet, you know? Let's... Hey, I'm already so exhausted after installing external item descriptions. Let's just... Everyone chill out, okay? I would love to do... Um, the Eddie Room. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have the option, to be honest. You know, you start with low HP. Might, might not be possible, but an early Eddy room can really set you up nicely. Don't get me wrong. Okay, one bomb. Mission failed. We got four. Hey, 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 hey! Resin. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> Toothpicks is great. Yeah, I think we'll just bounce. Hey, let, let's not worry about other mods just yet. Because uh, this one mod that we installed, I think it's actually, like, cut the frame rate of the game by, like, uh, like maybe 10. I don't know if, they, if I need to install, like, a compatibility mod or something like that. By the way, what was I talking about with, with an Eddie room? There's no Eddie room. There's, there's merely a curse room. You know, one bomb for a bomb and a penny and a chance to get a quarter out of that, that's totally fine. No, I'll have you know, Photoshop is not open. Thank you very much. Thanks. A new pot plate? How so? How so? There's nothing we could have done better there, IMO. 
There's two fires on the side. Oh, son of a... New pop play just dropped. <laughs> um, I'm I'm not willing to put the doubters on on blast like this. Razor takes one heart or half a heart. It takes one full heart. That's stupid. Uh, let's peep the curse room regardless. I got a great idea here. Is it a little spicy? Yeah. Are we at the Whore of Babylon status? Yeah, look at that. Well worth it. Little luck upgrade. The order on that was not incorrect. You've you've lost your mind. You're the one who's out, Gobby. Out of his mind. We're doing fine on time. Don't even sweat that. Now that we're in the Whore of Babylon state, like, look at this. It's it's all coming together. Yeah, the, the slowdown, it must be like mod specific, because like this is uh well, seven cents for two cents. What a bargain. And a strength card. All right, get, get me out of here. <clears throat> Take me down. I can't help but notice, by the way, when we were talking about um, the external item description mod, everybody was like, there's literally no reason not to get it. Nobody mentioned this, this uh, the frame rate collapse we're suffering from here. I'm not mad about it. I'm, I'm just like, you know, this is not how this thing's, but it's running like New World on a 3090 Ti. You know what I'm talking about? You, you hear this one? You hear this one, Kevin? Don't, don't add Dan like that. Hey, Dan is a 3080. He's safe. I did watch Dan reacting to like the top clips in the Isaac directory. I was laughing because I was like, I get it. He's trying to do some react stuff, you know, but with every clip in Isaac, I'm, and I'm not saying it's just like I'm built different, but almost every clip in the Isaac directory is just like uh, walking into an item room and then the room sucks or getting killed and being like, what? And then one of the clips for me was uh, at the very end of a run when I was talking about how that member of parliament from Vancouver uh, said, uh, you know, 18 to 29 year olds in BC are costing us the pandemic because they're not getting vaccinated, even though they only recently had the opportunity to get vaccinated. And I said, oh, fuck, you're going to make me cyber bully. That one was that was up there somewhere. And, uh, oh yeah, the one where I, I got Godhead from the Eddie room and I went, ooh, da, 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 da. that was a good one too. That was a good one. Okay. Don't even, by the way, believers, we, we may lose. It, it can happen, but we're not going to lose on time. We're going to make it on time. Don't even sweat that. Look at this, man. Look at this. Okay, this... We might lose on time. By the way, the beliefs are in. 61% say we're going to beat Delirium. 39% uh, say we're not going to beat Delirium. 6.3 million points placed on belief and 4.1 million on doubt. That seems fair. Help. <laughs> Help. A champion could kill us in one hit. That's we gotta We got to remember here. It, it does multiplicative damage. It, it goes through all damage sources. Seems a bit high on belief. I don't disagree. Okay, I, I think you gotta. I think you're you're hitting the nail on the head right there. A little bit higher on belief. I didn't know. Hey, you know what? Purple Heart gives you a higher chance for uh, boss challenge rooms. External item descriptions is this is gonna change my life, man. When it was just more champions, I'm like, I sleep. Higher chance for boss challenge rooms? I'm like, this is, uh, assuming it's true. I, I mean, you, I, I still was like, I wish that there was open information about, like, what higher chance meant. Because it was like a 1% higher chance I sleep, but... Now, we're Eve. 
Hair so long that it looked like weave. Now she cut it all off and she looked like Eve. Eve probably does a little bit better on devil deals. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna go angel deals, man. I it just feels right. Just feels right to me to, to go angel deals and then use the razor blade to leverage for uh for HP. Forget the curse room. I'm I'm headed downwards. Let's do it. <clears throat> and now, can you wish my friend Lexi a happy birthday? I can do that, but I'm I'm only I'm only gonna do ten birthdays today, okay? So if you want your birthday to be known, we got a limited supply. Happy birthday, Lexi! I'm just gonna pick ten other nine other names. Sorry, I almost gave you one for free. Um, happy birthday, Jason! Happy birthday. Montgomery. Happy birthday, Sebastian. Happy birthday, Juan. Happy birthday, Colby. Happy birthday, Brian. I, that one doesn't bring me any pleasure to say, but... Happy birthday... We got like two more. I'm going to say happy birthday, Elizabeth. And I'm going to say happy birthday, Morgan. And now we're now we're tapped. That's it. You, if you want 10 more birthdays, we're going to have to wait. What am I doing? D double strength, man. Double strength. <laughs> you can also disable the item description mod during combat via a tweak to the INI files. Look, the mod is like... It's, it's very useful, don't get me wrong. I don't mind a little avionics, but simultaneously, I you, you gotta put yourself in this situation where I'm like, um, you know... I'm, I do resent a little bit that people were like, why won't you ever install this mod? And then after I install it, they're like, uh, there are a few different, like, optimization tweaks I would really recommend, like, taking advantage of here. But here's what I'm gonna say, okay? Cobalt uses it. I respect Cobalt. As a result, I trust the... I trust the mod. Plus, I, you know, it, it was... I saw that it was most recently patched today, which is, like, a wonderful sign. Causes, and look at this, it already saved us some work here. Causes enemies to bounce off of Isaac. Bouncing them against obstacles deals damage. Chance to deflect enemy projectiles. Look at that. It gets patched like every day. Well, then, <laughs> honestly, <they're laughs> Nicholas should probably hire them then. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, yeah, we have some fun here. Okay, we gotta save, save some bombs for possible angel deals. We're still doing well on time here. Um, lemon, lemon mishap is not uh, good enough to replace the razor blade, but we're moving on here. Moving on so far. I, I, this run is totally normal. Like, I, I've taken a little bit more damage than I'd like, but apart from that, this run is is absolutely normal. The dream would be if there's a boss challenge room on the left of this secret room. I think that would have uncovered it for us. Oh, it's obviously a shop. Yeah, what am I talking about? <laughs> Yo, okay, now we're talking about... Now we're talking about... Dude, you can tell us a Friday. Not only is it a Friday, but like... Yesterday, I mean, I gotta tell you, like, it's, uh... Having a, a situation yesterday, it just reminds you, like, when you have kids, like, things in your life change. Went an hour and 40 minutes over, uh, schedule yesterday due to the Battleship Tournament. I feel like it, it screwed up, like, my whole week. And that's not a knock on the organization of it. It's, it's just a knock on, like, how tight the margins are for your time when you have a child. I'm like, man, it's, uh... I was all... I was like, an, I was in a different time zone. I was like domestically jet-lagged. Wow, that could have gone terribly. Okay, let's land this.
I think we can probably kick this out. This one's for the believers. This one's for the believers. One more. Wait, one, another quick one. Surely it's going to be great at this point. Uh, <laughs> chance to get a projectile blocking familiar after taking damage 12 to 20 times. Wow. <laughs> After taking damage 12 to 20 times? Well, I think I just found a great trinket uh, for Dan. <laughs> All right, we should go a little faster. We need an HP upgrade, man. And the damage upgrade. How is it possible we got 12 items and, and they all bad? Shouldn't be possible, IMO. <clears throat> Good trinket if you're playing sacrifice rooms. I mean, it, it seems like an okay trinket. I mean, we, we get, there's trinkets in this game that, like, you know, they double your damage or something. Or, you know, double your rate of fire and stuff like that. Gives you a little a little familiar that blocks projectiles. I'm like, I'm not I'm not convinced. I'm I'm realizing by the way, I don't actually have to save a bomb for the angel deal. I'm gonna, but I don't have to. We're doing delirium. Close. Close. All, all joking a salad, by the way. The mod is very impressive. And it is uh, mighty helpful to not have to open a tab every time I see something that I don't know what it does. Which is, I don't know, happens like ten times a run. I can live with that. Beautiful. Okay. Take me down. Little slow still. Little slow. Nice comedy bang bang reference. Thank you. I uh, I do consider myself a, a, a CBB head. Again, my the, my journey in uh, 2021 with podcasts was basically like realizing if you believe in the efficient market hypothesis, investing no longer is a hobby. It's just... Uh, you know, a habit, and then as a result being like, okay, fine, I'll listen to things that entertain me again. So I've been listening to a lot of comedy bang bang. IMO, the funniest podcast I've ever listened to. Also the only comedy podcast I've ever listened to. Yeah, I see ya. I see ya! Pretty wonderful. Comedy bang bang's a podcast now. I think it started as a podcast became a show that ran concurrent with the podcast and then the show uh, got it, it ended and now it's a podcast still I mean the podcast has been running for like I don't know like 17 years at this point or something as a joke from the show see you know you, you got it I get it's all about inside jokes I've only listened to like 20 uh, episodes this year so I'm I'm not familiar with the the TikTok Mr. Wicks and the you know fa why don't Fast and the Furious if they presented Hobbs and Shaw why don't they uh, present Fast 9 as well it seems like a glorious opportunity so you do this yo what the heck is that Soul of Cain opens the unopenable this is such... I'm, I'm not going, man. You call me a coward if you want. I'm not going. We'll go this way. Look at that. He's a genius. Maybe? We're, we're going so slow. <laughs> well, believers, I'm sorry, okay? Work with me on this one, believers. Work with me on this one. It's just, it's just gonna take a one extra minute, okay? It's just gonna take one extra minute. We are about a floor behind schedule, but we only have to get the hush. We don't have to get the boss rush. We just got to get the hush. We're going to get an angel deal on this floor. It's probably going to be like revelations. We're going to use revelations to easily win the run. We got nothing to worry about. Uh, it's not going to be an item room. Let's keep it going. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does Soul of Cain open hush? You know, that's an interesting question. That's an interesting question. I I don't even I wouldn't feel comfortable positing because I didn't even know that item existed until about mm, well probably like three days ago. But 
I, I keep, you know, purging it from my memory because I don't want to remember that Kainted, uh, Tainted Kane is a real character. It doesn't open Hush, but it does open Mega Satan, which could open Delirium. Okay, it's another item that uh, I, I wish I could use, but don't really find myself in a position where I feel like it's likely. Okay, um, it's good, it's good. Stack up all the useless, you know, garbage on the same floor, and then in the future we're gonna get a staggering amount of yield. Why not take uh, Glowing Hourglass? I think that there's a case where you could use it, but I think that Razor is more important to keep us in Horror Babylon state in some situations. Secret? Secret room? Secret room? We really gotta speed up. This is now, we're, we're actually past the point where like an early person a floor ago would have been like, let's start speeding up. I am now at the point where I've already resigned myself to just leaving late, but it's okay, I'll just risk getting a ticket by taking the HOV lane despite it only being me in the car. That, you, you know what? It's interesting. You could hedge your bets. You could try to fight angel statues. If you, if you can fight Mega Satan, you get a 50% chance of getting to Delirium without having to go through Hush in the first place. What is HOV? It's a high occupancy vehicle. I'm going off. Like, I, I've very recently become, as you, as you can tell from my tweets, I've become very active in, in local Vancouver politics. I don't mean to brag, but I vote in our municipal elections. I got lots of opinions on civic affairs, okay? Here's one for you. Anyone else think it's BS that in BC, uh, Highway 1 has an HOV lane where you have to have at least two people in your vehicle. First off, don't even get me started on how small uh, a number uh, two people in a vehicle is to be able to use the high occupancy lane. But then secondarily, secondarily, if you own an electric car, uh, you can just be in there by yourself. You know how many people in... I mean, it's a good incentive to have an electric car, don't get me wrong. But the Tesla Model 3 uh, is the most common car that I see in this city at this point. Probably by like a factor of five. I see like at least, I don't know, 70 a day or something like that. You're clogging up the HOV lane without even... Oh, we got to pick up all the HP here, man. You're clogging up the HOV lane. But you're, you're, it's not you're actually incentivizing carpooling anymore. It's become a different thing altogether. Okay, keep, keep me with the strength card. Get it on the floor. Get it, get it on the floor. Yeah, now it's just a Tesla lane, man. Okay, I'm actually the smartest person on Earth for these plays. Now that I know what came being, or, uh, what Immaculate Conception actually does, I'm sorry to inform you, I cannot get to the door, so I will just wave to you. Thank you. Thank you. Dank Depths XL. This is a huge win for the believers that we got an XL floor here. Absolutely enormous win for the believers. How do HOV lanes incentivize carpooling? Well, I feel like when they work as intended, you know, when you got gridlock traffic on that, oh, let's go, <laughs> it, it, uh, Jelly Belly. Um, when you got gridlock traffic on the highway with, you know, people commuting to work in their single occupancy vehicles, uh, you get to save a little bit of time on your commute with the high occupancy lane, which will, by definition, or by necessity, tend to be less populated um, because more people are, in less cars. But that's not, I think, how it works here anymore. Now that, again, everybody owns a Tesla Model 3. Uh, the, the cheapest possible Tesla Mod Model 3 with the white coat of paint and like rear wheel drive. So that it still is exactly the right price, I think, to qualify for like the BC electric vehicle subsidy, despite the fact that it's styled as a luxury vehicle, at least in, in marketing. <clears throat> Why don't you buy one then? Oh, frick. Um, well, I don't have space in the garage. I'd have to, I'd have to get rid of either the Testarossa or the Bugatti. And I don't know, I'm just, Maybe I'm naive, but I don't think it's worth it right now.
We don't have to rush. Don't let the doubters trick you into rushing. We just we just got basically like a five minute extra window here. Yeah, plus I, we gotta keep room for the baby. So like we, we have um, a, a, a Rolls Royce uh, Phantom extended. Um, like we got the back chopped off and replaced with the back of a Cadillac Escalade. Which is nice, I think. Uh, for the for the baby, it's not for me. It's mostly for the baby. This is a, a, a floor where the shop could be of the utmost value. Dude, I was laughing. I was watching Chib watch those videos last night, which is the new Twitch meta, apparently, and I, I'm so for it. I said genuinely in his chat, I said, Chib said, sorry, I just want to watch videos. I don't have anything to play. And I said, don't worry, King. This is better content than gaming anyway. And I, I stand by it. Without a doubt. Um... Planetarium? Leave me be. Planetarium. Just let me own. Doobie doobie doobie. Saturnus. Okay. Anyway. Um, so he was watching this YouTube video series that's called like Another Dirty Room. Where these guys go to motels and then... Uh, you know, do like bacterial analysis of like how dirty this, the, the rooms are and stuff like that. Um, it was crazy to me like that there's, there's some insanely like dirty rooms out there, you know? Like that people pay money to stay in. Like I, I don't I I don't have a point I guess it's just I've 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 stayed in some hotel rooms that were like a little grimy, but I didn't think that hotels existed where like in the bathroom you could just peel back the entire wall and stare at the pipes. I didn't know that that was a, a thing that happened. Like I, I I thought that there was like a, a health department or something that might come around from time to time and be like, hey, you got like a. Your shower doesn't have a drain. Could you like get that handled or you're going to be shut down forever? But I guess uh I guess it doesn't. <laughs> I, I guess there's there's no governing body whatsoever. Also, one of the hotels, people were like uh the entire hotel uses one phone line. So sometimes you'll be on the phone and the owner will be like, "Hey, can you hang up? I need to make a call." That seems, uh, bad. Like, in every possible way. Everyone has a cell phone, but yeah. Well, yeah, but like, I don't think the owner should be able to pick up his receiver and listen into your telephone calls. I mean, I get that the hotel room is 60 bucks a night, American, but still. Okay, believers, I know I said we were going faster. This this floor's thrown a little bit of a, a monkey wrench into that. Also, am I... Did we go to the shop? Has there been a shop? Where the heck is the shop? Oh, it's, it's down. Okay, the one... It's always in the last place you look, man. 60 bucks is not cheap. Look, I, we don't... Uh, for a, a hotel room, $60 a night is pretty cheap. Like... I don't even... I, I'm trying to think. I obviously, like, you know, we... we uh, well, oh, no, no, no. We need a place that has, uh, you know, rooftop helipads. So we usually pay, like, 75 for that privilege, but... But 60 bucks for a hotel room is is mighty cheap. So this is going to be came being or uh, immaculate conception. This is a little spooky, man. I know we got to go a touch faster. You definitely want this. I'm just going to pop it right here. I don't have that kind of time, man. Alabaster box, unfortunately we can't get value out of cuz we need to go. I'm a little scared if oh, I didn't even mean to blow it up. If I were a believer, I'd be a little scared here. 
Oh, we definitely should have used it on the planetarium. Well, that's great for our angel deal. And it's definitely great for our... Uh, for our donation machine overall. I don't want to be in this room. I don't even want to be around anymore. There's too much S on me. Okay, here we go. This, this is belief. Seven minutes to make it to Hush, then beat Hush and win the run. <laughs> and then beat Delirium, of course. Don't, don't forget about that aspect of it. Okay, great stuff. We're getting closer to Spun. I think, you, I mean, obviously, if there's a Devil Deal, you have to look at it at this point. Just intuition. 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 Did, didn't hit. Didn't hit somehow. A little intuition. Wow, you're actually a piece of garbage. Oh, Jelly Belly saved me. Don't, don't you try it. Thank God for Eve's dead bird, though. Finally! Okay, it doesn't really matter what we take. So we take the negative. We didn't get a deal. Can be in conception, please. I mean, immaculate conception. Immaculate conception, please. 24 minutes with the map. I'm not sweating it as much here. You got to do this. The mods got me pogged up. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Look, there you go. It's good spirit heart. Excuse me. We Oh, we got guardian angel. Okay, th this is how it starts. You set controls for the heart of the sun. One of the ways that we show our age. Send it, man. Okay, the money is out of control. Wonder what the title of the VOD will be for this one. Hmm. Sometimes I don't know the context of a run until it's over. You know, it's it's like titling something without its ending. Like, who do who do you think I am? Uh, Mark Z. Danieluski? I'm not Mark Z. Danieluski. Plenty of time. We don't need the bomb doors yet. I'm, uh, this ain't a speed run. Like, we, we gotta play a very delicate balance between survival uh, and also getting the actual advantages. That, that was a golden penny, by the way, that actually uh, provided us with one penny. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. But this is why I'm I'm happy to do rooms. Because look at the rewards that we're getting here. Like, this is actually changing everything. Oh, it turned into a sack? The, gold, the golden penny turned into a sack. Okay, I, I guess I... That makes sense. I guess I can't be upset too much by that. I mean, it's not like we need the money for anything regardless, so... Okay, this, please, a, a, a deal with the angel is, is the dream here. But we have to at least look at a deal with the devil. If the deal with the devil is strong enough, excuse me, we could beat Hush with it. Easy. Lucky. Easy. Deal with the devil. You gotta, you gotta snag it. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It's tempting. It's mighty tempting. It is tier four. You know what? You know what? Yeah, you take it because you're not. You, you're absolutely right. You're not using your heart containers anyway. It's a very good point. I, I think it's one of those things where, sure, is this accomplishing your objective? You might say that the objective is you got to beat the game as Eve. I don't see it that way. I see the objective 
as as placed by the um, the randomizer, I see the objective as starting the run as Eve and finishing what what it says you got to do. Otherwise, that it takes away too many cool items. Yeah, that's that's your, it. It defines your starting point and the direction you go, not your not your ending point. I think that's that's doubter copium, and the fact that I see some doubter copium, it's got me feeling very positive about where we're going. This is not moving the goalpost. This is keeping the goalpost in the same spot. Now you're you're trying to you're trying to OTK school this run in the casino. You're trying to say, well, you know, I was wrong, but I had the right idea, so give me the points. And Mizkif was a little bit more beholden to the court of public opinion, I think. I, on the other hand, remain steadfast in uh, my beliefs of how this should work. Wrong path? No, right? It, I mean, in my world, wrong path means you screwed up. And by you, I mean me. <laughs> but we we haven't taken a wrong path in, in quite some time. Go, dude. Look, we're, we're so far, like ahead of schedule right now like i'm i take offense i'm actually gonna wait six seconds just because you shouted go dude three two one and we're moving okay so that's that's what you get believer believers i would uh discourage you from that type of behavior in the future this is your pilot speaking I'm not owned. I'm not owned. Now that all the doubters are like, go, dude, go, go, go. <laughs> oh, man. That is good stuff. Oh, we have fun. We have fun here. It's like if the casino... Uh, oh, Jelly Belly, man. This, without item descriptions, I would not have respected this as much as it deserves. Okay, Soul of Blue Baby is like endless farts. I did, I, I thank you for the painting, I saw it, and I clicked the heart button on it on Twitter. It was very impressive. I'm always, uh, I'm always impressed with the artistically minded individuals out there. Okay, there you go, you're doing great. Saturnus, look at that, is it, it's making the shots deviate, or is that just the natural pattern? We're, we're snagging some of those shots. I, I take your shots and substitute my own. Owns. Okay, it's got to be done. We, I mean, I suppose we could just go to Delirium. Hold on. I'm like, I, I think it's, let, let's run it out here, okay? You fight Hush, there's negativity because you have to fight Hush. However, you do get two item rooms, four chests, another shop. I, I gotta be honest, I think you fight Hush. I'm marching to the beat of my own drum here. I think this raises our chances of winning. I think believers should be happy on this one. Could be wrong. That's the half the fun, though. Uh, yes. Eraser, no. Chariot, not so much. Still, um... It's okay. Probably go triple shot on that. Start working towards Beelzebub. Who needs to work? To, why work towards Beelzebub, mate, when the game will do it for you? It's true. I suppose we could erase mobs that spawn. That might be the mom transformation, too. Come on, man. Do your New Zealand accent. Jermaine, they, they maybe did. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. No, they maybe did. Good card? No, bad card. Loving this HP, though. If you bomb Hush, you can reset Hush armor. We, uh, Holy Mantle, the, the most important item in the game. I mean, holy water, the most important item in the game. 
Uh, mom? No mom. Mommy? Sure. You know what? I believe. I believe we can take the eraser in here. Come back as Dark Judas anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! What? That was a much stronger bomb than anticipated. Triple shot, you madman. I'm still thinking about it. It's not that I forgot. It's not that I forgot, okay? Is that I'm still thinking about it because I'm not convinced triple shots actually good. I'm st I'm operating on old intel here, but doesn't it lower your fire rate more than uh, two thirds? Or am I am I operating on old info from Flash Isaac? You know what? I do have external item descriptions. <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> Guess I could just read it, or whatever. Oh, tough luck, dummy! Though, can you believe that they're... Like, when a doubter is saying, don't do this, that's one thing. Can you believe there were believers that were like, don't fight Hush? That's a scary thought. And those people vote, man. That's what's scary about that. Reset the boss armor. They don't vote. They might vote. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, hey, hey. You don't know that. I invented them. <laughs> I can say they vote if I want. They exist only in my head as a straw man to begin with. No one votes anymore? Look, I don't think that's true, but you made a great tweet in my head. You know the one that's like, um, it's, it's, uh, two booths are set up, and then, like, one of them is, like, complaints, and then the other one is compliments, and the complaint one has, is full, and the compliments one is totally empty? It's that, but the complaints booth that is full is tweets, and then the booth that's empty is is voting but i mean it's like 17 different levels of satire because i don't even believe that's true at all i don't believe that's emblematic of people's behavior or representative <laughs> extreme minus two that's they, they use their once weekly minus two nuke on me wow why oh so much for the tolerant left okay hold on to this it, it was, i mean Triple shot tears down. Not as much informa in information as I wanted to, so we're going to go for it. Um, strength card. We we did get carried, but simultaneously, like, we didn't even get hit at all, so it's not like it was even close. Minus two and plus two should cost channel points. It's an interesting idea, but I, I don't want to think about, like... Oh, there's a button. I don't want to think about what happens to humor when the only people that are allowed to decide what's funny are people who are good at guessing what's going to happen in Isaac. Like, that's a nightmare situation for me. I don't think that there's any correlation between being a good predictor and, and like, understanding what's actually humorous. But, you know, hey, I don't know, it could be funny. Not trying to backseat. Don't want anyone to have the worst day at their job or anything, but a teleport card would really hit the spot right now. You're not wrong. You are not incorrect. Dude, by the way, Immaculate Conception is some pretty sick stuff. Hey, you know what? From a, I, I have to be... Look, how many Eternal Hearts have we gotten on this run, too? It's so lucky. You're absolutely right. If there's no correlation, then we got very little to worry about. What I'm actually, I guess I should have been more impolite. What I'm worried about is people that are really good at figuring out where I'm going to go in Isaac, when I'm going to succeed, when I'm going to fail. I'm, I'm offering the hypothesis that might carry a, a negative 
causal relationship with sense of humor. But I don't know, because all of my uh, viewers have uh, a positive sense of humor. Otherwise, they would be uh, watching something that isn't funny. Right? Sounds, sounds legit to me. I don't like any of these boss portals yet. NL is funny. Copium, copium. Did you see, um, did, did anybody here see that new show on Netflix where people with terrible tattoos uh, get them covered up with a tattoo that is selected by their, their friend or spouse? I, I started watching it. I think it's kind of fun. Like, I don't, I don't think it's the greatest show of all time. Um, obviously. But, man, I'm realizing, like... Not not to be anti-tattoo, because I'm really not. I mean, I'm friends with Justin. Some of my best friends have tattoos. But I'm realizing, like, how many people out there have, like, an absolutely terrible tattoo. Like, in the first episode, there's a guy with a tattoo on his back. That is a poem. And I'm going to read the poem, and it's disgusting, so I apologize. Keep in mind, this is tattooed on them. The poem is honor. Get honor, stay honor. If you can't come in her, come on her. This guy's got this tattooed on his back for life. Absolutely, like, just... He, he, in his defense, he was like, you know, we were 19 or something. We were all getting drunk. And my friend had a tattoo gun and was like, hey, dude, let me practice uh, on you or something like that. And he, he was like 27 now. And he's like, I don't want this anymore. And it's embarrassing. Um, so I like it's, he's on the right side of history now. But like, what a what a horrible tattoo. And I, I'm losing it because I'm like... Look, okay, did it take him like nine years? Yeah, but he was waiting for the show probably because I'm sure they comped it. <laughs> yes, please. Anyway. Um, I was laughing because... Uh, we might as well take the school bag. Star might show delirium. Very good point. Which means we're probably safe down here because I haven't seen the star in a bit. Um... But I was laughing because, uh, like, one guy had a tattoo on his butt cheek that was, like... Because his friend uh, drank some ghost pepper alcoholic beverages on his 21st birthday. He bet him he couldn't drink, like, ten ghost pepper cocktails. And he did. Uh, so he got, go he got a little chili pepper and then ghost pepper Dan tattooed on his butt cheek. And then the the gist of the show is like you're not the the person getting the cover up isn't allowed to know what the cover up's gonna be, like they because every reality show has to have like a completely arbitrary twist, right? So instead of just like hey we'll cover up your crappy tattoos, it's like uh, do you trust someone enough to get them to cover up your crappy tattoo with something they came up with? But anyway, um, so the tattoo artist was doing like a, a consultancy with the uh, or consultation with the uh, with the girlfriend of this guy who had Ghost Pepper Dan tattooed on his butt, and I think they haven't been together that long because they were like, "Oh, tell me about like uh, your boyfriend," and she's like, "He likes to like really like eat healthy," so they ended up coming up with uh, instead of covering up the chili pepper. They're actually just going to make it look better and then add another chili pepper so that it kind of is so that it's like emblematic of his personality of eating healthy. But I haven't finished the episode yet, but I have to imagine that if you're that guy, you're like, you know, I really trusted you to get this chili pepper covered up and then instead you're just covering it up with another chili pepper, which is not what I was looking for. But <laughs> Are you you're actually adding another one? Hey, the the art is gonna be better, but at the same time, like, I mean, this guy he's gonna have more chili peppers than, you know, your seventh grade social studies teacher on RateMyTeachers.com. My friend has a giant tattoo of Mr. Sparkle from The Simpsons on his butt. What's with the minus twos? 
I mean, that's... I mean, it depends what you want out of a tattoo, right? All I'm saying... Some of you didn't have... Miss Jenkins for 7th grade social studies, and it shows. That's all I'm trying to say. You would not be delirium. Oh, on their calf, not on their butt. Okay. But, like, I don't know what... Like, I, I'm genuinely not anti-tattoo. You know, my parents have tattoos. As we've established, they're, they're cooler than I am. Um... I'm the square. I'm like, uh, you sure? <laughs> you sure you want to get a skull tattooed on your face? I don't know, mom. It might affect your job prospects. But uh, I, I'm not anti-tattoo. Just for me personally, I, I don't think I've ever uh, had anything where I was like, I want this on my body forever. Like I know people get like stuff related to their kids tattooed on their body, but I'm like... You know, can I just... It seems like a lot simpler for me to just have, like, a Google, uh... Like, a calendar reminder or something like that that's like, oh, baby's birthday. But I, I think it's just, you know... I, I'm stealing my own joke from, uh... Today's Repentance episode, but I'm like... You know, I think, uh... I might consider getting, like, one of those uh, uh, tattoos that, like, The Rock has. Where they tattoo, like, one of your pecs. And then, like, all down your shoulder, all the way down to, like, your hand. Because I'm like, on the one hand, I don't, I'm not sure it really speaks to me. But it does seem a lot easier than working out. Like, I, I could work out and eat healthy. Alternatively, I could just get my entire torso inked up. And then look like a, like a gang enforcer or something like that. I think I think it could work. Get the tattoo, the six pack tattoo. Do I, I? If if anyone in chat has the six pack tattoo, where they tattoo the abs onto your your flabby stomach. Don't listen, okay? Because this is going to be, like, very destructive to the ego. But it's actually the funniest tattoo of all time. I think if you're... And just hear me out here. I think if you're in shape, but maybe you don't have a six-pack, but you're, like, lean. I'm not going to say I would ever get it, because that's just... It, it, it doesn't fit my values, for sure. You know? Remember what Tom Waits said about vanity? What does vanity represent in a man's life? Buy a mirror you look good in. He didn't say, get abs tattooed on your stomach. But anyway, that's that's Tom Waits. That's not necessarily you. But, not delirium. Um, I think if you're already lean and it just gives you like that extra push, maybe, you know, it, it looks more subtle and you don't even really notice it. Um, I think if you're a little chubby and you get the six pack tattoo, it's disastrous. Because for one, you're not in like a fighting game. Everybody is aware of the fact that you got the tattoo, which is fine. But then you got to contend with kind of looking like a ninja turtle in your midsection for the rest of your life, right? Like you got like the turtle belly and then like an eight pack on top of it, like... I just, I'm just not sure I'm a believer. Yo, Seraphim, look at that. Yeah, if anything, I think the, the, the six-pack tattoo is, like, good motivation to stay thin. That's a good bit. Guy who keeps his shirt on when he goes swimming because he's ashamed of the fact that he has the six-pack uh, cane. No, blue baby. Because of the fact that he has the six-pack tattoo. Oh, uh, yeah, what if you got a real six-pack and it didn't line up? I mean, I'm, I'm sure any qualified tattoo artist would maybe do, like, an x-ray first, right? Don't do this, by the way. This, I've, I've gone too far. I've gone too deep. Yeah, for sure. For sure, yeah. Any qualified tattoo artist. Any damsel that's in distress.
I was I was trying to do that, by the way, so I could get the value of picking up one single spirit heart. Then I realized, like, who cares? Like, we really think that's gonna pay out with like, you know, a second holy water or something? Probably not. I thought you were delirium for a second. I got, I got very upset Mo with myself. With myself. No, I think I'm probably not gonna take that. Seems a, a touch dangerous. <laughs> Why not? Lowers our HP to one. Become Dark Judas, then take Stealth Doubter spotted. No, I'm definitely not going to take... I mean, all, all the stuff that is being suggested, I'm not trying to just be dismissive. But I'm like, I don't... Why would I want nine lives when I'm coming up to... This is a mom transformation, by the way. Why would I want nine lives coming up to, like, the last boss of the game when instead I could have that HP uh, on the boss fight rather than, like, nine chances to uh, get hit two times, die, and then be screwed? Because it'll be funny. Okay, well, you know, that is true. I, I would plus two that in a heartbeat. You can replace them with spirit hearts? Yo, we only got one spirit heart on the map, though. And the soul of Blue Baby. Like, I'm, I, maybe I'm underrating the ability to have infinite flatulence, but I think, I think we got the right thing going on here. There's four on the map? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's four on the map. Anyway, I'm still not picking it up. I will simply, I, that's my fault, you know, you gotta, when you, when you ignore the backseating and you just banter about tattoo, it's fine. When you respond to the backseating, you better make sure you pick out a comment that's, like, idiotic. If you pick out a comment that has, like, an actual strategic base and then you get it wrong, you've just opened the floodgates to, like, the teacher misspelling something on the chalkboard. Like, it's, it's disastrous. Haven't heard tattoo in a minute. Oh, you ha you haven't heard um, all the things she said. All the things she said running through my head, running through my head. Running through my. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I do know both tattoo songs though. All the things she said, and they're not gonna get us. Two two classics. How are they doing these days? You don't hear that much about what's going on with Tattoo. Lemington, baby. What the heck? You, uh, Celtic Cross. You ever consider getting a tattoo of hair? Uh, nope. That's pretty good, man. Ah, frick. Uh, excuse me. Star of Bethlehem, um, are you drunk? This is still really good. This this one goes out to the believers, man. That'll only take a second to fix. Oh no, one of the one of the artists from Tattoo is trying to go into politics. I don't know why I said, oh no, I guess it's because, uh, <laughs> like, there haven't been that many examples of, of great crossovers between, um, you know, Billboard number one recording artist and then also, uh, yeah, uh, the Elder Statesman. Yeah, I kind of feel like, um, this is, in, in principle, this is a little undemocratic. Um... But IMO, uh, we should make a rule for politicians. Uh, anybody can run unless you were famous before you ran. I, I think it's just not fair 
And this is like, you, you know, keep in mind this is all tongue in cheek. If I was coming up with like actual political science, it probably wouldn't be in the middle of uh, the most mind flooding fight in the Binding of Isaac. But I, I think that there's like 10% of the population that will just vote for a name that they recognize or that sounds familiar. So being an, an independent celebrity, it seems like a serious hack. Define famous? More, uh, more Twitter followers than um, me. You know, famous is like, you know it when you see it. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, famous. Noam Chomsky, not famous. John Cena, famous. Billy Eichner, not famous. Oh, but he was in Disney's The Lion King. Yeah, nobody knows that, come on. I also, I still believe, I know I've said this ad nauseum now, I still believe that elections should work on the Hunger Games uh, strategy. I think you should hate winning an election. I think it should come as a surprise. I think it should be like a, a birthday party at the office. It should be uncomfortable and traumatic. You should be nominated by people in your community and it should be impossible to uh, say no to. Like, rather than being like, like, I, I don't trust anybody that campaigns to get some power. I, I only trust people who are like, please, for the love of God, I wouldn't want to do it. It's too much responsibility. Anybody who's like, my entire life's ambition is to like, be president or prime minister or whatever. I'm like, you're immediately disqualified. That's a huge red flag. I don't know if any society on Earth has ever tried um, election by surprise, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just saying that I think in a perfect world it could really work. All of a sudden, the nicest person you've ever met is the president, and it ruined their life, but that's okay because they did a lot of greats. They treated the office with the respect and decorum that it deserved. They would be happy to make the sacrifice, because they're the only person that's willing. You're the president, Harry. I wouldn't want Harry Potter to be my president. I'm just apropos of nothing at all. Okay, by the way, Believers. Ron Weasley, though? I don't know anything about Harry Potter, you know? Like, I literally, I have no clue. <laughs> I read the first book in 1998. That's it. Believers, you're paid out. There was a little, there's some copium had to be issued on that run. But we did make it. All because of that hush fight IMO. And also a great uh, immaculate conception. Choose outcome. I did accomplish my objectives. Slash marker. What should we call that run? Immaculate. Little life pro tip. You take a sip of the water. 